Hello friends! In this video you will see how the actors of the TV series The A-Team, 1983-1987, have changed. You will know their real name and age. I'll show you what they look like then, and what with them now. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! John Hannibal Smith is the leader of the A-Team and is an excellent strategist, always making the all moves calculating. He knows Morse code and how to drive a motorcycle well. Smokes cigars. Played by George Peppard, who died of pneumonia in 1994. Templeton Facepeck is the smooth-talking, charismatic member of the A-Team who is skilled at acquiring resources and information. He is often seen flirting with women and driving expensive cars firearms perfectly and is also an adventurer whose skill more than once rescued the team. Played by Dirk Benedict. And so it's hard to hang a story on it, so I got all the dialogue. Bosco B.A. Baracus is the muscle of the A-Team and is known for his tough guy attitude and love of gold chains. He has a fear of flying and is always reluctant to get on planes. Where's a small Iroquois? Played by Mr. T. Howling Mad Murdoch is a member of the A-Team who can handle a variety of vehicles, especially airborne, though his piloting style can be a bit dangerous at times. He is quite intelligent, has an eidetic memory, and arrives a polyglot. And I am over the top. I mean, you know, I, 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 I'm, a, I'm an over-actor. Played by Dwight Schultz. There's a new hotel right across there. Yeah. Oh yeah, thanks pal. Uh, close the door on your way out and... Uh... Amy Amanda Allen, Melinda Cooley, originally filmed reports for the LA Courier, but after, searching for her colleague, became part of the A-Team. She has a strong and resolute character, and is also able to win the trust of people. Knows how to ride a horse well. Frankie Santana, Eddie Valles, was one of the members of the A-Team who was somewhat pressured into joining its ranks. He is quite good at using firearms and is a pro at using special effects walks with his hairstyle back and is often seen wearing a leather vest. Want me to dial for you? Robert Vaughn portrays General Hunt Stockwell, a government agent who hires the A-Team for special missions. Outwardly, always remains extremely calm and it is extremely difficult to piss him off. He often clashes with Hannibal due to his questionable tactics. Well, no, sir, I don't think that's funny. Excuse me, we're looking for... William Lucking plays Colonel Lynch, the A-Team's main antagonist. He is a corrupt military officer who is obsessed with capturing the team. Lucking was married to his first wife, Mary Carolyn Mimi Hawkins, from 1965 until her death from cancer in 1995. He and Mimi have two daughters, Margette Lucking and Juliana Lucking Ryan. And focus on your family. Stay out of the club business. Dig in this Lucking was married to his second wife, Sigrid Ensel, a costume designer from 1996 until his death in 2021. Lucking died at his home in Las Vegas, Nevada, on October 18, 2021, at the age of 80. Find the A-Team and bring him in. Best troubleshooter in the past two wars. Until extreme political pressure's not the hat off my career. Lance Lego portrays Colonel Roderick Decker, the leader of the military unit tasked with capturing the A-Team. He is a skilled military strategist and is determined to bring the team to justice. The family was poor. He lived in an orphanage for a time between his father's death in 1941 and when his mother remarried in 1943. He started working at 11 and was fired from the railroad at 13 when they discovered he was not 18 as he had claimed. General Harlan Bull Fulbright led the 18, although he initially didn't tea, believed that they were not involved in a war crime. Harlan is deeply attached to his daughter and is willing to do anything to save her. Where's a beret? Played by Jack Jing. In addition to his achievements in football during his college years, Jing played for one season with the Edmonton Eskimos of the Canadian Football League after he graduated. Actors love to die, especially in that, in that episode like, and you know, we just found my daughter and the A team saved her from... He also was a Crosby Golf Tournament winner, Clint Eastwood Celebrity Tennis Tournament Champion. Autographs, honey. What's going on, Murdoch? I've got some very important information for you. Colonel Decker is after you. Tanya Baker, Marla Heasley, is one of the LA Courier Express employees, which knows Amy. She has a somewhat envious nature at times. 
Heasley never wanted to go into acting, as she was raised in the entertainment business. Although Heasley has never acted, Brokaw says he has feelings for her. Norman waited to send Heasley to audition until she was ready. Heasley made her study seriously by actively taking acting classes. Heasley dated and lived with Wayne Newton from 1983 to 1991 and they were engaged from 1987 to 1991. Heasley married international business entrepreneur Christopher Harriman in 2001 after dating since 1992. Pin him! Don't let him get to the car! Captain Crane serves in the U.S. Army and was paired with Colonel Decker, to whom helped in every possible way during the capture of the A-Team. Crane has a somewhat simple-minded personality and often underestimated the A-Team. He was played by Carl Franklin. Hey folks. Today's film falls outside of the AFI criteria of American films, but this is a reason He never had a chance to know his biological father, who died before Carl was born. Franklin was raised by his mother and stepfather. Problems at home combined with life in a difficult neighborhood fueled Franklin's ambition to be the first in his family to attend college. Sheriff Brooks worked at the police station and was the one who ordered to open fire on the House of 18. He wears a brown and green police uniform and sunglasses. He uses a loudspeaker in work. Played by Red West, who died of an aortic aneurysm in 2017. Well, in high school, but nobody knew who Elvis was then, you know. I just knew him casually. He is known to be the confidant and close bodyguard to rock and roll singer Elvis Presley. After being fired, West wrote the controversial Elvis, What Happened? in which he exposes the male singer's dangerous drug addiction in an attempt to save him. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. You gotta nail him, Hulkster. Terry Jean Bolia, born August 11, 1953, better known by his ring name Hulk Hogan, is an American retired professional wrestler. He is widely regarded as the most recognized wrestling star worldwide and the most popular wrestler of the 1980s, as well as one of the greatest professional wrestlers of all time. On March 27, 1985, just days prior to the inaugural WrestleMania, Richard Belzer requested on his cable TV talk show Hot Properties that Hogan demonstrate one of his signature wrestling moves. When Hulkamania was running wild, a little teeny show started called Monday Night Raw. After consistently refusing but being egged on by Belzer, Hogan put Belzer in a modified guillotine choke, which caused Belzer to pass out. When Hogan released him, Belzer hit his head on the floor, sustaining a laceration to the scalp that required a brief hospitalization. Belzer sued Hogan for $5 million and later settled out of court. On October 20, 2006, on the Bubba the Love Sponge show, it was claimed, with Hogan in the studio, that the settlement totaled $5 million, half from Hogan and half from Vince McMahon. During his June 23, 2008, appearance on Sirius Satellite Radio's The Howard Stern Show, Belzer suggested that the real settlement amount was actually closer to $400,000. Welcome to Huda Channel on YouTube, the place where we compile the most famous Hollywood actors in the movies. We are delighted to share with you interesting changes of movie stars from the time they started in the movie until now. With our passion for movies, we hope that our videos will help you understand more about your favorite actors and the movies they have participated in. Let's explore the very interesting changes over time of Hollywood stars with Huda Channel.